Again, uh, thank you for coming. For your information, this is our class number 10. So for BCE e-commerce class, we have another five. Um, focusing on social media, uh, digital marketing, sorry. Okay, before we start, can I uh, see your hands? How many of you are first time? Like, first time, first time, okay. So we have about 30%. So it's good because every week I got a, a first timer coming into our class. Okay, as you can see in the front, Today we have four uh, speakers. One is our coach, Mr. Sunny O is here. And then we have Sharon Go, founder of ITCOM. Sharon Go is a one of our Online 100 merchants, the first one of the first batch. And then we have Nadra Fauzi over here as well. And then uh, Chizaki. Chizaki is at the back. Okay, um, so before we start, uh, is, as usual, I just want to do some um, short introduction about CTEC. Okay, about CTEC, we are established in 2015, so now uh, is our fourth year, no, third, third year. Um, so basically CTEC is overseen by Invest Lamo under the initiative of state government to promote the growth of e-commerce in Selangor. So we, have a, we are guided by four main trusts in CTEC. One is Online 100. Apps 100, SDCC, and e-commerce education. So today is e-commerce education. So far, uh, for the past three years, we have a total of 58. This one is as of 2017, so now is class number 68. And then also, we already reached about 80,000 uh, individuals to join e-commerce, to, to know about e-commerce. And then four major e-commerce conference and smart city event. Okay. Okay. So for online 100, what we do is, if you are out, uh, if you are merchant, a brick mortar merchant, traditional merchant, so you want to go online. So this is one of the program that we provide for you to join uh, this four marketplace without uh, zero and uh, entry barrier. So we will promote you to this four marketplace. Okay. So this. Because we have a lot of requests. So for total GMV is about 7.3 million and total orders is about 151,000 orders. Okay, um, <coughs> product category, the famous one is the, uh, this top three product, health, beauty, home, living and fashion, same as well as 2017. Okay, so if you are looking to join us, I think you might consider the product as well. So, uh, top selling product category, the famous one is baby and kids, huh? pampers, all those products. Fashion, health beauty, home living, groceries, and then the last one is service and coupon. I think this one is because um, the, this marketplace, the, the, the commission is higher for this. So, people don't really use uh, marketplace to sell this type of services. And then demographics. So, this is Selangor. So, we have, I mean, actually, we don't have anyone from Hulu Selangor yet. We are looking to have to, we are finding them now. And then um, the most of them coming from Klang and Petale, some of them are Sabah now. Okay? Okay, then Apps 100. This is related. Online 100 and Apps related, they are together. So once you join the Online 100 program, you are on board with four marketplace, and then you will get your own apps. Okay, so this, this uh, apps is, um, uh, connected to Jubilee. So, so, so for example, if you have your own buyer, regular customer, so they don't want to go to the market because there's too many info in that. So they can just go to your own um, apps, they just purchase what you purchase from there. Okay? So uh, I think if, if you're interested to, to know more about then after that, after the class, we, you can go, we have a person in charge handling on this program. Okay, this one. Okay, one of it, other than that is SDC, this area called SDC, Slango Digital Creative Center. Okay, we have 11,000 feet, then we have a free photo studio for online merchants. This free photo studio is free for everyone, whether you are on our program or you are not, you can just come, book the place, and you can take photo of your product for free. It's upstairs. Okay, then classes, seminars, and all. And then this is uh, e-commerce education. 
This is one of our core um, trust in CTEC e-commerce education. We have three languages, English, BM, Chinese, and then, okay. Okay, so for this year, we only have, um, today is 7th April, now we have three more left, um, online marketing. So we have social media, Facebook, and mobile marketing in the coming. And I have an announcement to make. This 8 May, actually we, we move it earlier because 9 May is a election day. So we have to move it or else no one is coming to our class. Okay, and then uh, for Malay class, we have one more, Pemasaran Digital. For Chinese class also, we have one more on June. Okay, this uh, master class is actually, uh, we haven't live yet on Eventbrite or any other platform, but you can register your interest to join this class from CTEC website. www.ctec.com.my, you go to under e-commerce, and then go to uh, schedule, and you can click and register your interest. We might charge you some commitment fee, if not, you will not come, right? Yeah. Okay, so we charge you some commitment fee, like, but maybe 100, maximum is 100 ringgit. And we have four modules, e-commerce, to z online marketing, Facebook marketing, and so on. Okay, other than that, we have CTEC Academy, all the programs that we do, we did, um, all the uh, slides, everything we put in CTEC Academy website, you can check out, on, uh, even the video. And then other than that, how we promote the e-commerce is we have the top e-commerce merchant awards, conference, hackathon, and future commerce forum. Okay, this is CTEC Academy website. So if you, Say, let's say today is an EC203 customer relationship management. So you go to topic, then you find customer relationship management, you click, and then there will be a few slides. So you can check, there's a date or so. Okay, this is our awards yearly. This year also we have um, this award again. So winners will get 10,000. So, okay. Okay, this is 2017. 2017, um, won by Sally Fashion. Hey, no, sorry, Precious. Precious. 2016 is Sally Fashion, 2017 is Precious. So, are you the best merchant in town? You should join us this year. Okay? <clears throat> this also haven't live yet, but soon we will announce. Okay, this is uh, one of conference, as well conference, hackathon, forum, so some of the, I mean, we are not just promoting e-commerce, but also startup. Okay, I think um, this is some of the picture. Okay, upcoming big events for CETA is Selangor Digital Economic Convention. So we're focusing on three uh, main, smart manufacturing, retail revolution, and startup fest. So um, I think, why is this good for everyone to, to just come? I mean, because you need to know about what is the new things coming up for e-commerce because they are evolving so fast. And then this is a, in one event, we have startup innovation, business matching, exhibition. Also, we have a competition as well. Okay, so this is the competition, Selangor International Pitch. The price is 100000 Okay, check it out on ctech.com.my. SIP 2018. Okay, if you, if you want to look at our publication or report, you can just download from CTAC website. Okay, that's it from me. Oh, by the way, my name is Salman. Okay, so next we have Mr. Sunny Oi on the line. Okay, so please invite Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I see some uh, familiar faces. Welcome back. Uh, I believe uh, how many of you have uh, attended my class before? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming back, right? And uh, this is the third class for me this year and also the last class for this year, right? Right? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, no, seriously, a lot of my friends ask me, where do I find the time, right? Uh, so I post on my Facebook and say, Sharon, no, I say, where do I find yeah. the time, right? But I always believe that sharing is uh, learning, right? That's very important, right? So allow me to quickly uh, walk through. Today we have a very interesting day because we have seen we have four speakers, right? You're going to have seen from a very diverse perspective of the knowledge sharing in particular. And I believe I want to go very quick on my session, right? I'm not a guru in customer service, let me repeat, but of course I'm a business owner. I also use the, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, I handle a lot of customers. Uh, we have started this business, uh, maybe I'll just go into my slide. I, okay, 
I'll take you through on my first part on this on customer service journey. Uh, allow me to introduce, well, I'll introduce myself, but I'll go to do a self introduction also about my company. I will take you through a little bit to do the customer service for e-commerce. How many of you should show a hand that already in e-commerce business? You already start something selling online already. Okay? I'm sure selling online, the journey is very different when you do customer service compared to offline, right? So I will take you through what are the things that you should look at when you look at online selling. And of course, the third part, I will share with you some best practice sharing uh, from my own experience, my own company. Uh, I think Sharon, so since in the street, we came from IT, we also will share some of the experience. Uh, same thing from, I think, both Nadira, uh, Nadira and Zaki as well, right? They will share with you the past survey of how to use store, how to best practice, even perhaps ship or even pack the product. So those are the area. And last but not least, Q&A. So the best is that we want to speak less and want to allow you to ask more questions. Engagement is the key, right? You've been to my class, I think a lot of people like to ask questions. We always run out of time. So normally we try to speak as fast so that we give more time. So a little bit about myself. I'm a, actually I used to be a corporate man in IT. Right? If you uh, if you probably were use many of my product, my company product used to work for, be it a CPU or a Windows or Office or a Surface or any other product. So I used to work for those companies where I was running those business for them in Malaysia, uh, CPU to some extent Asia Pacific, I was doing that for Intel for a few years, right? Uh, all the while, also in selling home product, uh, you know, to the consumer products, to Lenovo's business, uh, ThinkPad, the Lenovo Idea Pad, and those are the business that I was in before. I was also in the NEC days. Uh, those days were old enough, you know, the NEC was the king in mobile phone, right? In the before the uh, GSM came out, they were number one in the mobile phone, right? They were also number one in notebooks, uh, projectors, and so on and so forth, right? So these are all the business I was in before. So, uh, of course, uh, I left my corporate life three years ago, three and a half years ago, in uh, March, in, sorry, in early 2015. Actually, January was my last day at Microsoft, right? So I left and I decided to start up an e-commerce business. That was the right time, I think, that is to start a business. So, that's my background. So, a little bit of my company, uh, what we do, right? Uh, today, we have, I have offices in Malaysia and Singapore. We started in Malaysia back in 2015, but today we also have offices in Singapore. Singapore has been in operation since 2016. So uh, once a year, but I did not make the record to 2018, not yet. <laughs> Hopefully the third country we can come up. So what, what do we do, right? The business model change. Sharon know me very well. In fact, uh, my slides for some of you who came last week, you didn't see one of the brands I put up. I said coming in Q4. Today I'm pleased to announce to you this is the, the, the partnership that we have is already changed, right? I founded this business in 2015. All right, uh, you were backed by strong partnership locally and uh, also in the region, I partner as well. We are a micro MNC startup. I only have 20 people, both Malaysia and Singapore. I don't have a big team, but we do million dollar business per month. Uh, we have uh, probably more, I'd say lost count, right? More than 30 online stores, touch point that we sell. One brand can be multiple stores, so we have more than 30 online stores, both Malaysia and Singapore. Our goal is to aspire to be a leading brand agency for Southeast Asia. Today our business is both in an e-tail business, means e-tail means I buy, I sell, I'm a reseller online, there's an e-tailing business. But more so today we are moving into a brand agency, we are moving to a brand agency. Today we are a distributor for L'Oreal luxury products. The brand you see that because beside IT, we are also in technology, we are also in beauty and pleased to announce uh, la end of last month, I didn't want to share it. Uh, we ink and deal with Johnson Johnson. We also exclusive online distributor for your Johnson Babies products, the bar products, Listerine, and uh, Neutrogena, and more to announce. Right, there are many brands under that umbrella. So L'Oreal is the same thing. Uh, if you know L'Oreal Lux products, they have Clarisonic, Biotherm, YSL. It's not here yet. All right, we got to launch next month also. Urban Decay is there, Shu Mura is there, and so on. So all the online, so these are the luxury goods products. We also uh, online distributor for them. So I move on, become a retailer to a distributor online. So that's where the beauty of the business is today. Uh, is this going to be the end? No. We have 15 to 20 bands in the pipeline this year we are going to launch. It's all almost all done deal. <laughs> Just a matter of time we will launch. So this is where we are heading uh, as uh, very fast. If you ask me, this is a third year in business. We are heading to that path. So if you are trying to buy anything, Monday, April 23rd, go to Shopee. There's a first Johnson Johnson official store will be launched there. Good deal. I'm sure you use Listerine at home, right? Right. There are 60% market share readers. <laughs> so all the products there 
or market share leader in the respective category. So any of these products will be launched. Yeah. Uh, of course, where do we sell, right? People ask me. Uh, we have experience to sell in both Singapore Malaysia in major marketplaces like Lazada, right? Of course, uh, in Singapore is Q10, the next bigger one. But Malaysia, of course, next big one today, up and coming strong and Shopee. Eleven Street is still there, but Shopee is coming so strong, very strong. It's a C to C platform. Of course, you have the uh, you have the rest of platform, including uh, Leilong, Q10, Uberly, Zalora, and Go Shop as well. We also sell Astro Go Shop, right? That is the the part of our platform that we the non-traditional retail business. Okay, our group business because I also part of a group. I can show you who we are in the group. Our group business also have a lot of my footprint. Maybe you're one of my customers, right? Somewhere, just that you never know, right? We also part of a group business of mine as well. So roughly, that's the lump sum of uh, summary, quick intro about who uh, my company is. Uh, can I? Sure, please. Yes. Uh, is your distributorship, the e-distributorship, is it exclusive? Uh? So only you can sell? Like uh, okay, person, today, sell. today in uh, the official store, Let's say today you go into the uh, L'Oreal product, right? You go into Lazada, you type in a Love Laurent fragrance. Mm -hmm. You lead you to the official store. Whatever in the official store, 100% belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Are we 100% Are we hundred percent uh, uh, own the whole marketplace where products sell? The answer is no. But we own substantial market share. Mm -hmm. And we have very strong partnership with the brand owner. That's where the difference is. Today our biggest, count, I don't mind telling you, our biggest competitors is not the real product. It's a counterfeit products. You can buy a fragrance for 40 ringgit, they claim to be 75 ml. You can buy a 299 ringgit, they claim to be 75 ml. So that's our biggest challenge in the counterfeit products. Yeah. So uh, depends on where you look at. Uh, because you know, counterfeit product is still a big part of things in this part of the world. So that's our biggest comparators in the fragrance world. Uh, in a skincare what, what, world, what I mean is, uh, can other online traders yes, also get you can. The, you can. can. Uh, I would say online traders. I give an example Johnson Johnson. Today you already can buy Johnson Johnson product through Watson online, through Watson mm -hmm. inside there, to Guardian, to Big Pharmacy, to Tesco. So these are existing players. But what differentiate from us and them when coming, when we launch in all three platforms, the store is that the Johnson and Johnson official store that you buy, nobody know behind us until you get the text invoice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the in fact, I, I started this idea with Acer in September 2015 when we launched the first in Malaysia, the official store. So you think of them as the official <coughs> store. But today we are beyond the reseller, we are also distributors. Uh, we have inventories, millions in dollars in inventories, and we carry those products. Yeah. So we are like a virtual uh, FMCG player, beauty counter, and IT stores. That's very the difference. Just that we don't offer the shop to people to come in to buy. Mm -hmm. We do it twenty-four by seven. Okay, I hope I answer the question. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's carry on. Huh? Yeah. So I will reserve time for Q and A later in the interest of time. Okay. So uh, last year or so, uh, first year actually when I came in, I know nothing about this business. This is real. This is nothing, right? I, I'm a veteran in IT, yes, I'm a computer science graduate, I more or less understand IT and e-commerce very far, but I know nothing about e-commerce. Today I'm still learning like you. Everyone of us still learning here, I always say that, right? But more importantly is that the case of last three years, I can tell it changed dramatically, it's so fast. Whatever you apply and you do in three years ago, the same formula you try to apply today and tomorrow, it will not work. This industry moved at least, I'll say two to three times faster than conventional IT business I used to be in, we always think that IT people move very fast, right? But e-commerce move even faster. I always telling a joke that you think you sleep also can get orders, yes, but when you wake up, you have more work to do. That's 24 by 7 non-stop. They expect you to reply, right? Especially in customer service, right? Because the chatting world is coming so, you know, uh, Aggressive, right? People expect you. I send a message to you, I expect an instant reply. You don't reply me, our customer service record low down and so on. The system will track you differently. I'll come to that in a short while. Of course, over the years, uh, we gain a lot of population. Uh, we gain a lot of popularity by understanding who we are and uh, we are established. Today, we are quite uh, happy that we have many brand partners who are still want to talk to us to try to onboard. So, okay, so we want to make sure that. Uh, we, we, we take through the learning from all these brand partner and to where we are. I hope I can share as much as I can here today, right? Uh, yeah, I'm so well the winner in the top 10 uh, last year, 20 uh, Cytex uh, e-commerce merchant. As a merchant, we also learn, right? We learn as well. 
course, the best to share. Of late, uh, my, my, my goal this year is that uh, I will continue in a lot of key strategic uh, seminars. I also try to refrain from going to a lot of event seminars. E-commerce is every day, every week of seminars. One. If you want to go and attend anyone, you need to work at the day. So you need to make sure you pick the right one and also share in the right forum so that you have uh, the necessary knowledge for whatever you intend to do. Right. With that, uh, I'm going to go into today's topic. All right, customer service uh, in e-commerce. All right, there are fundamentally some difference in customer service. I always like to use my master chart in sharing with you a consumer purchase journey on customer service. In the old school and the new school, right? Because I came from the old school. I came from a brick and mortar business of how a traditional retail business, how a store business do a customer service to today where an online do a customer service. That's where a fundamental difference. But today it's not going to be either or. You need to have a both. How do you complement your online and offline and customer service with a seamless experience? That's the key that you need to have, right? That's why some of you who, I'm not sure how many of you are going for a Singapore event next, early next month called Seamless Asia, right? That's about the O2O -O journey and things like that. So those are things that you heard about seamless. What does seamless mean? Means you need to have an experience that is online you get, offline you get the same experience. Just seamless is so important, right? So let me walk you through this chart. Uh, for those who have gone through this chart for the third time, every my class I show at this chart, but I always tweak this chart to a different meaning of different stage, right? But today, I will probably highlight you is that this is actually a consumer purchase journey. People want to buy things from need recognition to doing information search to evaluate alternative for product they want to buy to they make a purchase decision to after they purchase decision. So this is a stage, the five stages of the consumer purchase journey. But in a different inflection point or different touch point, it can be how you stimulate. Stimulus means a marketer. How do you make sure people are excited, want to first thing or want to buy a product, create a demand, right? Demand generation. You can do it online today. You can do it in a shelf, physical touch and feel, right? But because the online world, you eliminate the shelf completely. You can ship straight to their door. That's one. And last but not least is the experience after they receive and use the products. So this is the whole uh, touch point of the four different stage. But more importantly, if you're a marketer, you probably understand that in the old school, I call it the first moment of truth and second moment of truth. The first moment of truth was where they go and physically feel the products. They make a first impression. Just like you never seen a car. You went to a showroom, you see the car for the first time, you fall in love with the car. That is your first moment of truth, engaging the car. Right? The second moment of truth is after you buy the car, your after sales service going back to the service center is a second moment of truth, right? But in the online world, there's this new transformer, the zero moment of truth. It means that before you even buy, you engage with the product and the brand. How is that so? Okay, everyone always know that nowadays a lot of drama happening everywhere, right? Virtually, every town, every night. You can watch drama online without going physically under the rain, right? How do you get to know all these things? I never bother about the time where to go. It's because it was been shared out through the social media. The social media power, a lot of products are introduced to you today, not because you know or you want the product or you have needs the product because it was introduced by someone to you. That's a zero moment of truth. So when it comes to customer service in particular, right, there are two key stages that you can engage. The first stage is really about pre-sales. Right? It's about before they buy. How do you engage? I'll give you a classic example what do you mean by that. When you are an online business, okay, particularly this year, if for some of you who are doing C2C C business, means Shopee, to some extent old school of Leilong, there's a lot of chat function enabled. Even in the 11th Street uh, market, they have this chat function, leave message for you to respond. That is your first pre-sales customer service experience. Lazada, effective April 2nd this year, they turn on every single store in stages right now. It's going to be allow you to leave a message before they buy. Then you need to engage a customer before they buy. Right? That is a pre-sales experience. How you engage this experience is very important. Okay? How you manage is very important. That is a pre-sales experience. When, when after they buy already, you'll come to post-sales. Post-sales is what we call your customer review stage very important. Many of you are a big shopper online. I'm sure when you want to buy something, what do you look for? You more or less feel that 
this price is okay. This specs, the daily right is okay. But what's the next thing you look for? Review, right? Customer testimonial, correct? That's a natural thing for online shopper shopping. So therefore, post sales to have a customer to review, the number of review you have, the number of positive review or negative review or neutral review is, have, is very important. You cannot look at just a positive, you must look at the neutral and the negative. Look at all aspects of it and understand what you can do to make a difference to your business. That's where the, I call the post sales. I will show you some example later all right, on post sales. So you're following me so far, today I'm talking about pre-sales and post sales. I'm going to go into these two in a short while. Okay, in the real example in the marketplace. Right. Am I going too fast? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Implementer stage of again. This is an intro class. I only have probably half an hour, forty-five minutes. So I will not go very deep, right? but do understand that this is a session. We allow you to have a, a concept. Many of you are implement, but you may not know the importance of what you can do. I'm going to give you a concept of what you can do here. When it comes to pre-sales and post-sales, there are four areas. There are four fundamental ways you can do. Number one is use social media as a customer service. When I say social media, some people say WhatsApp is a social media, Facebook is a social media, Instagram is a social media, many, many other chat functions are social media to do a customer service. Can you do that? You can. I'll show you an example later, right? The conventional like customer service is typical call center customer service. You call in, somebody, hey, hi, can I help you? And lock in the ticket and so on and so forth. That's a typical customer service. The new and upcoming e-commerce, which is very you know, prominent, I think is, you need to really uh, make it well, is live chat. Live chat is very important. Okay? You need to think about how best can you do live chat. Can you imagine, uh, we are trying to do live chat. You know, I sell beauty products, right? We are, you know when you go to beauty consultant in North Shopping Mall, Aeon, you see all the Lancome counter, YSL count, uh, showroom and so on. You need to speak to beauty advisor. The beauty advisor will tell you, our brand have five franchise, four step each. What? Uh, cleanser, toner, uh, moisturizer, and so on. And also mask you need to buy, different type of steps, right? And each one have different things. This one needs expertise. Can the guy sitting behind the live chat have that same level of expertise as a beauty consultant? If the answer is yes, 50 per chance or more, you close the sales. How many of you do online business? Do you notice when you do online business or even do a Facebook business today? The more you reply to the customer online, if somebody's trying to buy things online, you reply and engage them, the opposition is very happy, I know. I guarantee you, you know how to speak correctly, you have 50% or more chance you close the deal. Today, more so with live chat, you can even offer instant voucher for them to instant convert to buy. Only if they talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So that's a pre-sales advantage you already have if you know how to do it right. So use that as a weapon. Use that as a marketing tool, right? The last but more important thing is that uh, how many of you have both online and offline business today? Online and offline business today? Yes, sharing up, I know. Who else have? There are a few of you, right? When you have online and offline business, how do you seamlessly integrate the information on online and offline together, right? Our group is one of the biggest in the IT in the market today, right? I know one of the group which I'm meeting the boss tomorrow night is the biggest in the CE tomorrow, today, right? All of us are going online, offline, but there's a lot of pain behind in integrating the online and offline business together to have a seamless experience. You have to change a lot of, first, the people culture thinking of the offline people. The system that you have today, is this friendly to be online, offline or not? So all these are the things you need to do. More importantly, the customer service function. Right? Customer service means that I don't have a stock here. I come to a place here I want to buy. You can recommend to me, but can you send back to my house? Today, many offline business cannot do one. No? You have to pay money here, you close the sales, you come back or that. You cannot send back to your house, one, correct? Right? But that's the future. That's already happening today. In my last class, I shared the overseas uh, Amazon to Amazon Go and also the <coughs> Herma or Alibaba concept, right? That's already happening. But that is where I think customer service will take to the next level and you enable that function. Okay? Next, I'm going to move on to seven ways to provide exceptional customer service. Okay? This, these seven things, are, I'm not a guru, right? I take this from internet, let me, I draw it. But let me use the layman term from a businessman term to share with you from a layman perspective, right? 
uh, don't worry about taking up your leave, they will share the deck in a, they will share the deck in the online you can download, right? Yeah, in a PDF format. So number one is you must offer multi-channel support. Remember just now the four stage, four different support you have. You need to choose which one you have a phone call, you want to have a live chat, you want to have a uh, social media sub customer support, and or you want to have omni channel for them to walk in for support. You need to consider that depending on your nature of the business you're in today. Not all size fit all. Depend on the operating hour, the nature of the industry, and also the cost of operating the customer service. You need to consider that function, you know, to do that. But having the more channel, more touch point, means you have higher chance of engaging customers. Okay. For instance, uh, I recently I want some attrition in my customer service. I need to replace my people in customer service. Then I'm thinking should I add more people? Then what's in my mind is that should I hire the more younger generation people so they are more social friendly and they are more multiple screen chatable, example, right? On the other hand, I'm concerned about ability of controlling their productivity, work productivity. They can be very sociable, but are they on the right track for the business? So those are things you need to consider. What do you use to manage those, uh, your team, example? How do you make sure their productivity is there? So those things you need to consider, right? Real story, I have interviewed some very senior good people, 40 years old, came work for big telco, big distribution, want to do customer service, but I'm saying, hmm, is this the right culture I want to hire for my team in the new era I want to be? Then I say, better not, because I, I heard Jack Ma told me, everybody must be 30 years old and below in your team, then you have chance to be more successful. So I say that, hmm, sorry about that, then maybe I'll, I'll consider, uh, I'll, I'll take the bet to go for a young one. But having a young one, a lot of us have challenged, you know why? Our office is not cool enough. Mm. It's not about salary. It's about how they feel. Do you give? Do you offer them Friday ice cream or not? Do you offer them uh, anything that is uh, cool enough in their life? Uh, we are not as good as Google or even some of them, but you must be cool enough to attract the young one, right? So these are all things you need to consider uh, next. Second one is about listen on social media. Uh, this is very important. As a business owner, a leader, all the e-commerce uh, leaders, some business is very big, you could be the business owner, right? but you are not social media, you have somebody lead your social media. That individual must be the people who drive social media. To me, I'm the one in a company, right? Unfortunately, I'm the one, I'm the boss, I also need to listen. I often go to my multiple channels to listen and observe the feedback. Any feedback, you need to improve on them. If possible, work something out for them. Then you'll feel good, alright? Third thing is the track all customer interactions. Very important. Do we have a tools to track customer interaction? Do we know the SLA, service level agreement? People call when, reach when, when will your people respond to them or not? Okay, there are a lot of software in the market claim to be very good. Some is paid subscription, some you can write your own, depending on the industry. But you must have tools to track them. Okay, we all use some tools somehow to track them. Okay? I think you know how I pay a few thousand a year on software, on CRM alone, every year to do customer service, to integrate all these things, right? That uh, four is uh, create a support center for customers. Where is a platform for customers to call in? Okay, the, just now I mentioned the multi-channel support, right? You need to look at what option do you have, right? Make sure you have it. And uh, online chat, okay? This one is also recommendation. Online chat is inevitable today. You need to make sure you do online chat. But having online chat, make sure that your people are trained. At least it's a basic knowledge. They don't, they cannot be the domain expert because they are not the super salesman, right? If they are so good, they will become their own boss already, ma. So what do you do? You make sure the basic knowledge, the FAQ are all prepared ahead for them to be able to address accordingly. Okay, and last but not least, uh, okay, the other one is focus on timely response, your SLA. If you are you trying to, how many of you are Shopee seller here? Have accounts selling Shopee as you've got a lot, right? Do you know Shopee have this uh, the rating one? If your rating is less than seventy five percent, means you're not responding fast enough. You must be seventy five percent respond to customer and above. Most big company will fail over the weekend, <laughs> right? I can tell you, but I always tell I never question my people on uh, weekend result one. I only see them on the weekday result. How well they responding to the stores? The more store you have, the more thing you need to respond. I, uh, we have some challenge recently because too many stores. When Monday morning when I review my store with my people, my two Shopee store got 250 old messages to respond. Messages, you know. 
this is customer asking you something that you have to respond, be it delivery, be it sales service, be it I just place an order where you deliver, you also need to respond. And if you know you are in Shopee, if you don't respond to them, you make sure you're the last one to respond so they will score them. Okay? You know, it's a trick, it's a real one. Huh? You say thank you, you must say welcome. You make sure you're the last one, otherwise, Shopee consider you never respond. <laughs> then the score will drop. Sorry? Uh, the way they allow is try hours block. The, they will, every try hours block. Yeah. That's my last understanding. If the algorithm change, I'm not sure. My understanding or knowing is try hours. Okay, so you must respond to hours. It's quite challenging for three hours for a traditional business. Huh? It means you need, I can have this as a full time job. That's why selling online, sleep also got order. But managing customer is no joke. Expectation, especially when selling in the C2C platform. But today, the, I would say C2C and B2C means, uh, C2C means like consumer to consumer. Huh? B2C means like the old school, you sleep, you place order, I deliver to you, close case, you didn't sell A. But now even B2C like Eleven Street and Lazada are also offering the chat option. When they start offering a chat option, your level of customer service need to improve. Huh? Okay. The next thing is really on ah, the last one is not easy. It's delivering a wow experience. Okay? This is what do you mean a wow experience? In an online customer service sometimes, I can tell you that customer is always right, whether they are wrong or right sometimes. Okay? No point to sometimes argue, right? But sometimes you need to think of a way for listen to them. If they are angry, let them score. Let them they, you need to have how to handle them. That's an art and a skill. Some people are not are born not to be a good customer service. Because every time they want to argue with customer, they are winning. Some people are born to be able to let them score still, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Then people yes, then they're okay. They score until they don't score with you. So they are born good customer service people. So when you hire staff you to identify that which group are they belong to, right? Wow experience is about offering some offering something extra. Yes, you make a mistake, right? That day I uh, my customer service left, uh, it was at six thirty five or something like that. I have a customer who say that uh, this customer very funny, he bought two units of WD from one of our stores, uh, WD hard disk. They want specific color. Sometimes you ran out of that color option, you know, it's the same thing you want to offer. So we need to offer him alternate color. So when you offer him alternate colors already, delivery you slow down, uh, right? Because you didn't have option. So you need to make sure you give something to him or him or her their wow experience. So you need to offer some extra. You don't have to tell him what, make sure you deliver, you receive and you feel good about it. That's what I mean by the wow experience. Right? That is called the going the extra mile. It's not always about making money. Right? If you understand the customer life cycle journey and read a lot of things from here, right? So this is the Click Asia Store version, right? Uh, we have people leave comment here. What did they say? What they want to buy? And the most important thing is that uh, how they you respond to them here, right? This is a post sales. A good example is I bought something, notification that uh, you respond to them as well after sales. So you have pre-sales and post-sales messaging on both sides here you can refer to. I know it's quite difficult to see, but what I'm trying to say is that this is the Lazada version today. The pre-sales is really they leave message before they buy. The post-sales is where after they buy, they re review good comment, okay? At the product level or at your store level, there are two ways of comment. So you need to make sure, how do you get comment for Steve one? How do you, if they give a comment, how do you say thank you for your, for, this is also very important, right? So this is our customer service, okay? This is 11th Street, oh sorry, this is not, sorry, yeah, my mistake. This is Facebook, what am I talking about, right? The first one was Facebook. Asada, 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 right? Okay, Facebook, okay. What we did is, we integrate, you see, a lot of them, we, we don't do a lot of business in our own store. That's a reality, nothing to hide. I do majority marketplace. But how did this customer know how to come to our Facebook to talk to us about their order from us in Lazada or Eleven Street or Shopee or Leilong or Uberly or whatsoever? Why? Because of the wonderful of e-commerce or social media today. So what we did is we, because of that reason, we don't want them to be everywhere to reach us. We integrate them to Facebook. Do you know why is Facebook important? Because I can know who you are actually. Because of PDA, PDA law, PDA <coughs> law, right? You cannot engage a customer. If somebody come and score you, you don't know who they are. Very difficult, man. How do you address them? At least from Facebook, I can trace your genuine history. I know Facebook has a fake account, but 
higher chances. Uh. Today, you don't believe me, you open any of Facebook today. If I tell you my handphone number, you try to key in the handphone number into the Facebook, you know a lot about this individual and their behavior. Do you agree? Yes. In the search button. So this is so important. If they are your customer, you know where they buy, right? You just key in and you know where they buy. But if you're on Facebook, at least you are genuine engagement. And most of the Facebook engagement are very important. So this is the example of the Facebook or pre-sales example and post-sales example. Okay? Uh, correct. Sorry, uh, it doesn't look like Lazada. I'm talking about Lazada. Okay, this is the Lazada version, right? In Lazada today, you have to look into this part example. You go into everybody's store, homepage, all products and profile. Okay, you want to know you can buy from that seller or not? Take a look at all uh, the profile area. The years they are in, I'm two years plus with them. The major category for this store is computers. Look at this response of 99% ship on time. 16% better than other people, okay? Don't aim for 100%, very hard to manage. I always tell my team, you're 95% above, I give you a green, green card already in this business, right? The other part is this positive seller rating. We have 1,983, okay? My biggest competitor in the industry in this one who are selling similar product are 3,600. So it's my team goal this year to chase after them. To have number of positive review. review. That is the goal, all right? And uh, neutral and negative. It's impossible to have everybody happy with you and in this business. But you must understand why the neutral and why the negative, who they are and how do you, can you sell this back the relationship? That's the key, right? So this is an example of pre-sales and inquiry, daily professor, uh, this is the after sales, the rating and so on. The more nicer, the longer they write, the better they write, the more touching they are, the better you are. Okay, that's where the importance of customer service in the marketplace. This is 11th Street. One of the stores as well. You have a product level and you also have customer level feedback. Similar concept but different look and feel. Okay? And this is Shopee, right? Shopee, this is a Shopee mall, okay? Uh, yeah, Sandy's official store because Sandy's official belongs to us as well. One of the stores, right? Uh, this one is again, nothing to hide. I'll tell you the numbers of. Uh, uh, the other thing is in this store, the tricks there uh, check your followers. You need to have a lot of followers. Okay, the game is about followers, right? But in the old schools, I don't want to expose too much to people. But the young people say, I want to have a lot of followers. The more followers you are, the better you are in this side. But the other thing about when it comes to customer service, it's so important here because everyone, the more you have people, they will just drop a question, right? Anything, thank you for your message. Make sure you're uh, done with delivery example. So you need to make sure that all these are done properly and we assign people to finish them. Because many of us are SMB sometimes. We don't have the full team, full time doing it. I have people full time doing it, but even one person, you have 20, 30 spots, how to manage? So you need to have a way to organize those things to manage the store. Okay? It's impossible to be 24-7 and only only weekend sometimes to ask the staff to do. Impossible. But you need to have certain SLA that's agreeable, right? In the head. That you, you know best. Okay, so why don't we play this video? And this is some of the tips you can get from here, uh, which I feel is useful. It's about three seconds, three minutes. Take a look at this video first. Yeah. Top customer service trends in e-commerce. It's not just the times that change, it's the customer too. If you're using only old marketing tactics from 2000 or even 2012, you're on the wrong track. Customers are evolving and so are their needs. Fail to meet their needs, fail to get their cash. We've collected relevant articles, statistics, and survey results that clearly illustrate what customers want and how you can give them what they want quickly and easily. Peer reviews. Customers rely on peer reviews to decide whether they want to make a purchase. 46% of users read reviews and blogs before purchasing online, according to the experts at VMO. Just think of sites like Amazon or Sephora. Where would they be if not for customer reviews? How would customers be able to choose? With a service that collects local reviews, merchant reviews, and product reviews, your e-commerce site will attract more customers and increase sales. Secure online shopping. Customers know that in this age of cyber theft, it's like playing Russian roulette if they shop on a site unknown to them. In a recent survey, 89% of shoppers said they won't shop on a site they don't trust. So how to win over website visitors with your awesome customer service? Show them right off the bat that they can trust you by displaying a trust seal on your website's homepage. Then another one on the checkout page. 
A recent Forbes article says that the general consensus has been that trust seals are indeed important for e-commerce sites. An A-B split test conducted by website security service provider TrustGuard compared sites with a seal to sites without a seal. And the sites with a seal showed a significant increase in conversion by 14% on average. In a similar case study for iNet Video, TrustGuard trust seals increased sales conversion over no seal by 15.8%. Price matching. One of the strongest ways you can influence a website visitor to buy from you is through price matching. Retailers reported in a survey by research firm BDO that the second biggest reason customers were enticed to buy from them was through price matching. Free shipping came in at number one. And in another survey, 36% of consumers said they spend 30 minutes or more comparison shopping before making a decision on purchasing a commodity product. A big way you can lose a customer is if they have to leave your site to comparison shop. By offering a price match guarantee through a low cost price matching service, you can keep your visitors on your page until they hit that buy button. All channels. Customers want omni-channel support. Customers want to have their full customer service support on whatever channel they choose, whenever they want it. Companies with extremely strong omni-channel support have an average 89% customer retention rate according to a report from Aberdeen. Compare that to only 33% for companies with weak omnichannel customer engagement. A powerful way to increase your omnichannel customer engagement is through live chat customer support. Live chat is growing in popularity among businesses, meaning more and more consumers are expecting it an option. 58% of companies in 2014 were offering live chat. Compared to 43% in 2012 and 30% in 2009, according to a 2015 research study conducted by Forrester Research. For more information about live chat support, check out rhinosupport.com. Alright, let me just summarize a few keywords here. The first thing we learned just now here is about review, right? I mentioned consistently, review is important. Let's summarize what I say, right? Review is important, right? Uh, of course, the end with live chat. That's how they also mentioned about price matching. They mentioned about omni-channel, all right? Omni-channel not in the form of selling, but also in the form of support. Online, offline support, right? The other one I think mentioned is trusted site. You make sure your site has a trusted site logo, not looking fishy. So these are the five, six things I want to summarize out of this video, okay? So to, I'm going to end here for my part, and uh, by right, this is Q&A timing. But in the interest of time, because we have three more speakers, I'm going to skip my Q&A for the last part. We will have a group Q&A. Is that okay? With that, I'm going to hand over to Sharon, right? Thank you very much. And, uh, thank you, Sharon. Hi, everyone. Anyone seen me before? I was just wondering. Anyone seen me before? Yes. Okay, <laughs> by the way, I'm Sharon, a very big face. Huh? Should I stand like that again just to prove this is myself? Okay, my sharing, I always like to be very interactive with you guys. So, I hope my sharing can bring a lot of laughter. Bring me any questions that you want to ask. We are very practical. Sunny and myself, we are very practical. We are not those talkers, okay? Because we start everything from groundwork. So you ask us what are the problem? We can talk you three days, three nights. You never sleep, I talk to you down. Because we have faced a lot of problems before until we who we are today. Okay? So just to share you a little bit of myself, I'm actually this is a very special year for me because I have been in the entrepreneur for 20 years. I'm very old already actually. So I'm celebrating my 20th anniversaries on entrepreneurship today. This year, and uh, my company has started 2003, 2003. So I have a distribution company before. That was a long, long time ago. So we talk about ITCOM. So myself is a founder and also a CEO for the uh, for ITCOM. So you look at the name itself, you know it betrayed me already, because that name tell you I'm selling IT, isn't it? True or not? Okay. So I always tell people a joke lah. Look at me, I'm very short. Okay, but I'm fighting with men in men business. Tough, right? Tough or not? Not tough, ah? Very tough, lah. Okay, so basically, I'm doing offline and online business. Who is here selling online and offline? I want to know because I have secret to share to you. I need your hands up. Hi, hi, please. Hi, hi. 
Okay, if you don't show high, I won't share to you. Okay, as an offline physical offline and the online reseller, we have been challenged by a lot of customers, uh, our big friend, uh, our customers. They pay you money. They are the big payer. They say yes, you cannot say no. So, we have four retail stores all across uh, uh, shopping malls. I think you all walked there before, but you don't know that is my store. Uh, we have an one in Utama. Okay, we have a digital mall. We even have at the mines. Okay, so that shows we have offline. So when people come to you, I bet if you are online, you guys selling online right now? Who? Or? No, no. Then the rest, what are you here for? <laughs> what are you here for? Okay, so why am I asking this question is because you will always gonna hantam kau kau by your customer. They will ask you this secret question. I don't know whether you've been asked before. If you're not being asked before, and you practice more, sell more online, then you will be asked one. So they will ask you, you have offline, you have online. What is your price if I want to buy this in your offline store? Okay, they will pandai one. They don't ask like that. They will come and ask you a very intelligent question. I want to buy this, this, this product. How much is the price? Then of course you will answer the retail price ma because you earn more ma. Correct or not? Correct or not? Correct me if I'm wrong ah. So you answer already ah. Wow, oh, these very intelligent people ah. I don't know where they train ah. Which, which university they went ah. They will list out one whole thing. You sell this price in Eleven Street, this price in Choppy, this price in Lazara, this price in Uberly, this price in where? Where do you think I should buy? You cannot before or not? Offline seller, cannot or not? Not gonna. Well, you are so bo choy ah. Tak kena one ah. I kena kau kau. We always have this question every single day. So if you have not faced this problem before, that means to say you have to work harder. So that people see you and they know where you are. They know how to hunt up you. See, I share you the secret already. So how do you overcome this thing? How do you overcome? You say bye now, chin chana, you choose that. Like that. Like that. No. Or you say, no, no, you buy Lazada or you buy Shopee, la, Shopee cheaper, la, I got no commission. You tell your customer, you can tell your customer, right? Okay, what you need to do, you need to stand very, very firm. This is a secret tool uh, for offline and online seller. You need to stand very, very firm on your pricing across online and offline. Because if not, you're not only losing your customers. To me, losing a customer, I'm okay. But if not, you don't stand very firm, you lose your team. Get what I mean? You losing your team is the most precious thing compared to losing a customer. Because your offline team and your online team will fight within each other. Then your offline team will say, you all sell all, you sell so cheap, I got no commission, you all sell all. Then your offline team all quit. Chao kui diao, goreng you. You understand or not? So you got to stand very firm and explain to the customers, telling them, we have offline, we have online, okay? If you want to buy a cheaper price, you can refer to our online. If you want a special service, a hands-on face-to-face, a demo product for you to play until you shop, then only you buy, then you go offline. And we even have a help desk team there. If you don't know how to install the team, or maybe you buy a laptop, you don't even know how to turn it on, okay? Then you go to our offline store because we have Human, lang loy, lang chai there to serve you. Not lang chai, also say lang chai lah, don't care lah. Okay? So that is the very different. And you have to explain to your customers, in shopping malls, we are paying very, very high rents. We are also taking our product and unboxing, let you feel and touch. Those are all our costs. So you got to stand very, very firm on this. If not, both your team will fight with each other because we struggle through those things before and never ever get your online customers to purchase from online and pick it up from your offline store. Get what I mean? If they're so used to it, they'll buy it all online, they go to your offline store, they ask you to open your box, they ask you to trade them. They are paying online pricing, but they are getting your offline service. So, two words here, stand very firm, if you want to buy online, you come to my online office and pick up the stock. Because the online office will not have technical help desk there. Okay? 
buy it as it is. So deliver, thank you, bye-bye. Okay? Don't say thank you, bye-bye lah. I say come back again lah. Okay? So, next thing, we actually started online since 2014. I put it 2014, actually we started 2013. I can pretty, mu uh, pretty much assume that all of you here are very, very lucky. You know what? When those time when I first went into online, you think other class in here macam ga? No. The first platform that we went in was Lazada. Lazada was the first platform, and during those times, Lazada baru baru masuk Malaysia saja. No class, no tutorial, no webinar, no Lazada University. Tada! You learn yourself. Even upload product took us a struggle. No class. My teacher, ah, who myself. You know what? We went, I went to hospital many times, I banged my head, I bleed. I put tapa here and walk again. Then I fall, I put on couch again and walk again. This is how I went, went through all the online. That's why we are... Now, uh, I'll show you here afterwards why I want to do all these sharings. I think my perception is very, very much uh, the same as uh, what Sunny thinks. Why we, 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 why he and I... <coughs> very strange, you know. He's selling the same product I'm selling. But we are friends. Uh, where he do it, computer selling are the same thing, but we are friends. Why is he sharing? Why am I sharing today? His code is sharing is to learning. Is learning. Myself, I always believe the more I share, the more I don't. I know I don't know, because there might be questions that come from your that you have faced before, which I not faced before. Correct or not? I see similar faces here. Okay. So we started 2014, okay? Lazada was our first platform. So this is our store, uh, advertisement time. You want to buy anything, you can buy that. Itcomstore.com. Sunny has mentioned this now. Drawing traffic direct into our own website is a very big challenge. Because people give voucher, you tada give. People give promo code, you tada give. People got bank discount, you don't have. You know what? People have deep pocket, which we don't have. So, what you need to do and bear in mind is that your own store is your iconic signature. So, people that buy anything online before, that face problem before, pasta tak sampai la, the thing rosak la, or, or different thing deliver, they takut already. One time they takut already. So, they believe you. So, things and people that purchase from your website or your Facebook directly from you are those loyal customers. Keyword there, keep them. These are all the customers that really follow you very loyal. You say $10, they pay $10. You say 50 ringgit, they also pay one. Because they have faced problems before. Okay? Let me show you what are the places that we're selling at. We're now at Lazada, 11th Street, Shopee, Ubali, Maxis as well. Why you see Maxis logo there is because Maxis has an app for Maxis user. Anyone here Maxis user? I'm not working for Maxis, huh? But Maxis has an apps inside. If you can find, we are there. We are doing promotion together with Maxis for online and offline. So you can purchase anything in, in that app itself with our promo code and then you can enjoy certain promotion from that. So that's why we, we are working together with Maxis as well. For you, Bali, this is a very special thing that I want to touch today. So um, myself, I would like to thank CTAC this time. My first time speaking in CTAC. So CTAC has brought me to the first pilot for Online 100. I'm one of them. I've forgotten I was 60-something. Uh, I could remember. That was, that was where I was before. And then Uber, Uberly is a platform which I came here, I know about them. So, and we work together with Uberly. We're not only selling with Uberly, we have an interact apps together with Uberly. So we have an apps which is Articom apps. You can also but uh, You can also buy from our apps. Okay, mix mix na campur campur Malay kena English kena. Okay, so we have a, a backlink from our website together with our apps together with you believe. So everything are interconnected. Okay, so you can purchase from our apps as well from you believe as well. Also from our own website which is Articomstore.com. Okay, share with you. Another thing that we have just went on board, which is Alibaba.com. Everyone is talking about CBT right now. You know what CBT? No. CBT? 
No what? BTC, ah, uh, BTC will touch it. What's B CBT? CBT stands for cross border trade. Okay, cross border trade. Criminal breach of trust, huh? <laughs> CBT can be criminal breach of trust. <laughs> <laughs> Just joke, ah. Uh. Okay, CBT stands for cross border trade. You know, uh, one and a half years back, Jack Ma came, ah. Uh, and one Buru Hara, everyone talking about Jack Ma, Jack Ma come Malaysia, you know or not? Yeah. Always newspaper you saw, everywhere, Facebook also you saw. Okay? Those is meant for the DFTZ project. So DFTZ is Digital Free Trade Zone, okay? Which is a project piloted by our government together with Jack Ma to um, actually help Malaysian, actually part of it, uh, helps Malaysian to export Malaysia product to all over the world through Alibaba.com. So we are one of them in the pilot projects. So to work together with Alibaba.com. So now we are actually doing a lot of. Uh, myself has stopped venturing into FMB. So what we did uh, just <coughs> two weeks ago, we have an MOU signed together with Bentong, okay, uh, which is witnessed by Ministry of Transport, Dato Liao, Dato Sri Liao. So what we do is like we know, like Bentong has very good products, okay. But, but, I put a but there. A lot of people over there do not know how to do online. Do not know how to do e-commerce. So what we did is that we went into that area, okay? We speak to them, we work out a plan, we sign an MOU with them to bring all the good product which is ready to export. Get the word here, it's ready to export. That means to say you have all your jacking ready, you have all the uh, code, you have all the musty, what what are Malaysia and all the permits ready. So we help all these people to export their product over to international, no matter where it is. Not only China. A lot of people think that export food is only to China. No. It's the whole globe. Okay? So when you go talk about CBT, you don't have borderline. It's the ability of how far you can run with your product, with your services, with your expertise. Okay, so when Sunny mentioned about the time, remember the time that you respond for Shopee, you say like 12 hours, i share you another more secret. I tell you after I go with CBT, uh, every night I didn't sleep, you ask my team member, I always say I didn't sleep yesterday night, I didn't sleep yesterday night. It's simply because their response time is one hour. If you drop under 80, okay, drop under 80 to 85, your page will not be seen. Bye bye. Sing with the wind. I want to start singing already. Okay, very tense up, you know. So all these, um, like Malaysian buying in Shopee, Lazada, 11th Street, we are very good Malaysian. We only ask question when we, when you go with Alibaba.com. <coughs> After so many years I've been doing online, I still think I'm a baby there. You know why? You got attacker every day, every single hour, so I tell you. They spam you email, they spam you a uh, message. So they you respond to them. If you don't respond to them, your respond rate drop, so that their page will be seen and your page won't be seen. And they will send you viruses every day to your email, to your message, to your trip manager. We call it trip manager. It's everywhere. Okay? Then you also have to pandai pandai filter, you know. Don't simply open up the file because they will crush you all the viruses. So this is a very big challenge for CBD. But we don't talk about that. I pressure you are. Uh. And we'll talk about Man Malaysia. Uh. Sorry, ah. Uh. Sorry, we talk about Malaysia. Eh? Okay, come. Share a little bit about myself, what uh, my narrative, what I do right now. So, why am I doing all these sharings everywhere where people say, maybe people laugh at us and uh, Sunny, la, why, I, why are we sharing our secret here, there, there, everywhere? You don't afraid you create competitors. Uh. To me, no la. We share only ma, the 30 minutes, how, how much that we can share, isn't it? Our experience is five years down the road. So we're just sharing what we can. So for this one, I have been invited by City Plus FM. Sorry, the plus there missing. City Plus FM, sharing about 11-11. you know or not? Siapa tak tahu double eleven? No or not? We're very quiet. Huh? I think I'm the only one in the room. Anyone know about 11-11 or not? Yeah. 11.11 is meant for the biggest online sales in China. You know, people, you know, Jack Ma sit there, look for a chair, sit down, look at the figure, blah, 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 the share market. Very <coughs> Not me, I hope I can't but he can't only. So, 
This one was invited during the last 11-11 to share in the radio station about the insight and preparation of an entrepreneur in Malaysia. What are the preparation that you need to do? What are things that you're expecting for 11-11? What are the culture that we're bringing in for 11-11 compared to China, but it's bringing the win into Malaysia that we are also jumping into 11-11 and Trump Trump. So we are sharing the insight over there for the radio station, which is giving me a very big challenge. It's speaking in Mandarin. My tongue, my tongue was like, whoa, whoa. and then those are all very technical Mandarin, you know. So ask me to speak in English, no problem lah. But in Mandarin, uh, when it comes to traffic, what is traffic uh? Anyone respond instantly because it's an FM, you know. So it's a very big challenge. But I need that. Okay, and this one here was Lazada 2017 conference, which is the biggest conference that Lazada have done. Anyone been there? Anyone? No one. No mind. Be there this year. Be there this year. So they will do once in a year, they will do a very huge one. This round is 2,000 over people, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Okay, so it's a very huge one. And uh, I was being given a chance to share on... Uh, how to do online business, especially in Lazada, how you go on board and what are the challenges you have faced. Okay, so this one, Majlis Pemandaran Bentong. Just happened two weeks ago, I was also being invited by Majlis Pemandaran Bentong to share our experience to e uh, keusahawan for Malay and Indian crowd to share how they can actually bring the product online. Okay, you know, online, very easy, ma. online, 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 everything you say, but you change to Malay, ah. what is online? No, no. No, no. Ah. I tell you, la, atas Tas talian. talian. <laughs> ah. You know what is offline? Bawa talian. Ah, of course, la, you know already, my little crew already. See, I like this kind of crowd because I like to interact with you all. So, in that way, you all hit the mind, you see. You all hit the mind instantly what I say. So, this one also another big challenge. This one is speaking in Malay. Before I went out to the stage, someone asked me, are you okay speaking in Malay? I tell the bird. No problem. I'm Malaysian ma. I already check up no problem. So share lah. I mix a little bit with Malay and English. Just hopefully we can share a little bit of inside what is e-commerce other than atas talian and bawa talian. Okay? So I make sure I practice the one before I go around. Okay, so this one is the DEFCOM, which is organized by MDCC. This one I'm sharing on behalf of a, as a woman, as a woman, entrepreneur, and digital. So share my experience, how have I been through, and how to encourage more women to go, uh, to, to be a businesswoman, and to be a businesswoman in digital. And what are the challenges? Okay, this is a little bit about myself, okay? And uh, we have also participated in the top e-commerce event organized by CTAC Award. So uh, we have also won the 2016 uh, top, my, uh, top GMB in my cyber sales. Okay, so I share with you what is my cyber sales. I'm going to go fast. Okay, this one is a graph that what we are doing right now in ITCOM. We are selling retailer. We have project management. We have corporate services. You know, big corporation, they have a few hundred over staff, they have servers, mainframe, all these things, networks, we do. We have another team doing projects, okay? And we have e-commerce team, which is me, okay? Now, this is where I am, okay? First, we started 2003 as a two-man show. Dua orang sahaja. If you say you wear kesian, nah, I tell you, I was also very concerned before. I want to say everything as an SME perception because I came in as an SME without money. Okay, so we started everything from zero and then we extended to our retail store. Okay, and then 2014 we started e commerce. I'm gonna go fast for this. So 2015 we started to have our own website, which is itcomstore.com. So 2015 also we joined My Cyber Sales. Who know about My Cyber Sales? I'm going to go going to promote a little bit for MTech. Okay, my cyber sales is the biggest online sales in Malaysia for Malaysian. Okay, you know the 11 11 for China people, ma. my cyber sales is meant for all of us for Malaysian. So all the Malaysian trader can go online with my cyber sales to promote your product to people telling you you are selling online as well. Okay, be ready 
they are also ready in I guess this year they are almost to announce the date already so if you have your own website September 3rd to 3rd to 8th yeah September, September 3rd, 3rd to 8th to 8th yeah. a few days it's, it's a few days event so if you have your own website please get ready all the things your payment gateway your registration your SSN your certification everything okay everything get ready participate yourself in my services share you a very secret thing how much do you pay for my services to join? Free. Free, yeah? You give up? <laughs> okay, the answer is free, not I give and take give. <laughs> so it's, you join for free, but there is a chance for you to let the whole Malaysia know about your website. Because to drive traffic into your website is a very, very big challenge. You know how much you have to spend? I don't know. Because I spend a lot and the traffic is still like that. Okay, so make use of this chance to share because to, to me sharing all these things is nothing so malu because it's my progress, it's my history. I'm sharing you this so that maybe you can escape, you can have better, better route, you can escape all these things. Okay, so for 2016, we first joined my cyber sales with our own website. For 2015, we only joined through the Sada 11 Street and all these things, but we don't have our own website. But 2016, yes. 2017, we start to join TFTZ, which is the one that we say Huru Hala, we check Mala. Okay? I, I, you know, he walked past me, you know. I tried to take his hand, cannot take. <laughs> cannot, uh, too many Bowser, too many bodyguard. Okay? So maybe if I get, uh, so today I won't be here, uh, maybe today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 2018, we officially on board with Alibaba.com. And we have also on board with a few more platforms which is doing CBT. One of it is Iroman, which is doing all the Middle East country, the uh, Dubai, Qatar, Yemen, Oman, all these places. And we are also uh, venturing into one more few new platforms for CBT. Okay, all about talking about CBT right now. Okay, so from just now, that chart is meant for Malaysia. But this chart we have started to venture into from Malaysia to global market, which is the CPT, which is the DFTZ project. Okay, this is just a chart of how we transform. Okay, so we go back to the topic, don't run so far, afterward I forgot. Okay, so we are talking about CRM today. Everyone here know we are here for CRM today, right? Anyone don't know one? Don't know, must be, must be the side lah too. Okay, so we are talking about traditional, Tradi traditional way of CRM is who call, who never do who call before, who never do who call before, so lucky one, I always who call 100 calls a day, okay, spam email, you always receive one, which you hate a lot, you receive, you delete, you receive, you delete, okay, so street banners, street banners, you see people hang and then DBKL time, so, remove, you see you, you put the banner up, after people fuck to read, then go back home, don't know what lah, don't know what they do with it lah. Okay? And then sometimes you cannot summon also ah, because you don't get permit. You sometimes summon by DBKL, FASA, because you don't get permit. Okay? And TV or radio ads. How many still watch TV every day? Can I have a hands up? How many of you still watch TV? No one watch TV ah? Was so Okay? Okay, so most of us here are all like, you know, digital lah, you use your, your, your laptop or whichever, you hardly watch TV. So you put ads there, you waste money, you know? You waste money, at least you waste the money here, come here lah. We all never watch ma. I never watch because I work very late one. Like Sunny said, we work 24 7 one. Every day I go home, not earlier than 12. Because there are so many things to do. Okay? And SMS. You always receive SMS alone. You want to pick up money, you know? I know you don't need it. You receive or not? This kind of thing. Almost every day. I'm giving you physical and practical example so it hits your mind immediately. So now, all these things out is out already. Why I say out? First thing is boring. Second thing is too long response time. Okay? Some even don't have response time. Okay? So, another one very important for you all to do business right now in this era, do take note PDPA Act. Okay? You know what's PDPA Act? Anyone don't know? Never mind. 
Don't be shy, I'll be here to explain what is PDPA. Okay? PDPA is a long form for Pro uh, Personal Data Protection Act. If you sign anything right now, in any bank, any form, any invoices, you will see this act inside. You signing this, that means to say you are giving us authority to plus you promotion or blah 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 in the future, uh, which including a third party, whichever. Okay, you must have this in your website, in your tax invoice, <coughs> in any legal form that you can reach your customers. You know why? If today you call the customer, last time, uh, very hang one, you know where hang is what? Uh? You know, uh? very popular, right? Where hang is very popular. Uh, we mix around, uh, Chinese, English, Malay, all jump to jump all. Okay? You can buy from someone database. If she is working in a very multi, multi million company, you don't have database, but she has it. You buy from her, like, you pay her 50,000, you buy all the database out. Last time, Ray Heng one. Now, you do that, get ready, here, go inside and see. You know what? It's because the PDPA Act is so enforced right now, and customers and users are so intelligent about this act already. So if you, I know lah, whenever someone call me on the phone, Hi Sharon, uh, I'm calling on blah 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 bank. They normally say the blah 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 very fast one. But actually they are on behalf of the bank. We are calling from ABC blah blah on behalf of the bank. They must, they must have got your phone number from somewhere else, which is not authorized by you. So you question them immediately, you shut down the phone one. Okay? So, do not, take note, uh, do not sell any of your contact to your friend. Brother, brother, ma. I give law. I sell baju, you sell, you sell makan one. Nothing related, I sell law. You sell, you, you wait lah, one day. If your customer is so intelligent to sue you in the court, you're gone. Okay? Never touch PDPA app, especially when it comes to all these things. Emails, SMS, phone number, these are considered as PDPA. Never touch all these things. This is a clue word here. So when we don't talk about traditional, we want in thing. Uh, myself way in one. Okay. New customer relationship management trend. First, what we targeting is lively. Okay. Second thing we're targeting is instant response. Okay. And the third thing is hit the mind in second. Not really you take the hand and hit the mind, yeah. Sorry, uh. that one also you prepare to go in. Uh. Okay, you have Facebook. Anyone don't have Facebook in business? And everyone has it, Facebook. Okay, please open one Facebook for your business so that people can reach you, especially when you only do online, people don't see you offline. Okay, so Facebook live chat is also very important because when customer asks you question, Facebook, do you know Facebook is also time